you were saying that this one's a little shorter. Yeah, I must have lowered this for somebody because usually this would be more like. Yeah. Here. Well, I like that you're not a height discriminator. I'm not a yeah. Wow, this one has a great sound. Also, another great one for the film noir soundtrack. This kind of backs up Venus, the other one we did. Yeah. This is kind of like Venus's cousin a little bit. Okay. And it's, you know, right now it's just tuned to an open chord. Uh -huh. So one of the ways they use this a lot kind of as a... Um, They get really sensitive right, as the areas get smaller. It's a difference between like a theoretical number which doesn't exist in real space. Right, kind of like. Because the string bends, so this length isn't exactly. actually the same. And as it gets closer and closer, further up, the amount of bend mm -hmm. makes more and more difference. Mm -hmm. So So that must be pretty difficult to figure it out, like to actually just get it right. <laughs> it is, yeah. If they machine things out like, like a guitar factory, like they get them pretty right. Mm -hmm. Even though my Martin backpacker inside is a bit wrong. Right. Know, huh. Like so they're um, it's nice after this the frustration of this mm -hmm. is why I started making all the frets movable after that. Yep. Because there's one note here that would kill you if I played it. Like <gasps> we were in a particular tune and uh -huh. we were, like I was playing this with a piano one time. Right. And um, yeah, and Justine just she was playing the piano and she just screamed when I was hit this note. She goes, Ow! Because it was just perfectly wrong. <laughs> awesome. Pleasure to meet you, Spike. Until next time.